Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. New research finds that one of the building blocks of life on Earth could have come from a comet. Scientists at the Space Astrophysics Institute of the University of Paris Sud and the Nice Institute of Chemistry collaborated to create and analyze an artificial comet. The artificial comet was subjected to simulated outer space conditions, including radiation and changing temperatures to model the comet approaching the sun. The scientists detected the formation of several simple sugars in the artificial comet, including ribose which is essential to the formation of RNA. Though ribose has not yet been detected in an actual comet, this experiment demonstrates that such a thing is possible. In fact, we now have experimental evidence that all of the molecular elements necessary for life as we know it could have formed in the ice of comets. And if comets delivered the building blocks of life to Earth, they could have done the same to other planets as well. This study is published in the journal Science. Next up, a new method of information storage could dramatically reduce the amount of space needed to store digital data. The new method, developed by researchers at the University of Washington and Microsoft, and described in a paper presented at the ACM International Conference on Architectural Support for Programming Languages and Operating Systems in Atlanta, Georgia, allows for digital data to be stored using DNA molecules. The researchers were able to successfully store and retrieve both images and videos that had been encoded as nucleotide sequences in synthetic DNA. Using DNA to store digital data would not only require far less space than current methods, UW's press release claims the same amount of information stored in a massive data center could be stored in a space the size of a sugar cube. It would also be far more stable as current storage technologies degrade in a matter of years, while DNA is capable of preserving its encoded information for centuries. And finally, researchers at Cornell University have developed a drug delivery method capable of crossing the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier prevents unnecessary or potentially dangerous substances from entering the brain through the bloodstream, which is a good thing most of the time, but presents a challenge to doctors who need to treat patients with brain disorders. The Cornell team found that the drug Lexiscan, which is already FDA approved in the U.S. for use in cardiac stress tests, can temporarily open the blood-brain barrier, allowing for drugs to be delivered. This is especially good news for cancer patients as the blood-brain barrier renders most forms of brain cancer extremely resistant to chemotherapy. The use of Lexiscan could also open the door for improved treatment of other brain-related diseases, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. The study was funded in part by the National Institutes of Health and is published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation. An experiment proves a key building block of life could have come to Earth on a comet. A team of researchers successfully store digital data in DNA, and a new drug delivery method could make it much easier to treat diseases of the brain. That's the good news. I know. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. I think you're about done. Are you about done? Yeah, she's about done.